Good morning, bitch, and welcome to the morning tea with Lottie B. Yes, and I am excited. Yes. Oh, do. bitch, it's Thursday. I almost said Friday, bitch. No, it's Thursday. Yes, okay. Oh, oh shit. shit. We were Excuse right me, I'm so fucking excited. Wait, shit is falling wait, in here. Wait. Shit is falling. Sorry. Yes. I am so excited. Google girlfriends, homeboys, and haters. Thank y'all for joining me today on the morning tea with Lonnie B alongside the tea party. Yes, I am. Uh oh. Tony just came in here. Tony just came in here. Tony just made it. Google you party it. like shit last yes, night. Sir. Yes, he did. Yeah, he got yes. a hangover. Yes. yes. Y'all, oh my God. He got a hang on his eyes, lower than low income poverty. He got a hangover, man. <laughs> oh, he got a hangover. Oh, Ronda, yes. Man, Good morning. Right? Good morning. Oh, okay. Good girl. girlfriends, homeboys, and haters. Let me get back to the direction of all over the place. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us today with the morning tea with Lardy B. Yes, I got the tea party here, and I'm feeling like the gay Woody from Toy Story. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Fucks with the hat. Yes. <laughs> I fucks with the hat. Get it out. <laughs> so yeah. let me introduce the tea party because we're all over the place. We feeling good. Yes, yeah. I have to take these headphones off because it's fucking up my style. <laughs> fucking up my style. <laughs> Make me feel like I got on earrings from the 90s. Here we go. <laughs> yes, we have Tony T in the building. Yeah, goddamn do, man. Good morning. Yes. Man. yes. yes. Okay, Tony yeah. is back. He is a little late. You had a hangover, Tony? Nah, I, I'm, I'm actually going to Myrtle Beach. I had to leave for bike week, so I had to go oh, okay. to my service. It's going to rain on so. y'all head. No, nah, it's only supposed to rain on Sunday. We come back. Oh, Monday. okay, good. Ninety degrees. So up. you still celebrating? Yeah, I ain't even celebrate for real. I chill. I celebrated with Child Tuesday. Okay, and, seemed uh, like you celebrated when you came in here. Did you smell it? <laughs> yeah, did you smell <laughs> it in the air? You smell when the rum is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but what did you do after you left the show for your birthday that day? Um, I went chill with my Dukes, of course, and mm -hmm. um, chill with some homies, and then I went and played with TCB. You yeah, love chilling with your mom. You you consider yourself a mama's boy? No, I just my father died when I was like um nine. Oh, so, so it grew you closer to your mom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah, both of them was in my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I was lucky to have both. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And we have the ridiculous wrong. Yeah. Somebody said, wake up, Tony. No, Tony's high. He got a hunger. I'm woke. I'm woke. <laughs> okay, we got the ridiculous Ron in the building. What did you, Ron? What's up, y'all? Yes. So tell us, what did you do this week, Ron? Shit, yesterday, shit, I didn't do shit. I uh, <laughs> yeah, we saw each other Tuesday and Wednesday. I ain't do shit. I think I caught a contact. I'm high as shit. <laughs> 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 yes, and we, and we have Miami Mills in the good building. Morning. Yes, yeah. good fucking morning. Yes, how you doing, Miami? Well, you know, God is good <laughs> <laughs> all the time. All the time. Yes. <laughs> Listen, rain. Nothing was going to stop me from going to work last night. I know that's right. My motherfucking wheel, I mean, my motherfucking tire fell off the car. It what? Said, fuck you. Did you leave it there and still win at the club? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I bought that bitch on the side of the road. So you saw that. Called a lift. $2.95 was to be there. Did you call a lift or not? I called a motherfucking Uber. Quick. And I gave him directions to come get me on the parkway. <laughs> but no, thank, thank goodness for six. Geico uh, Roadside Assistance. Yes. Uh, and Lexus Roadside Assistance. Uh, pay us. That's advertisement. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got a lot of money. Mothers. Like, can I get my extra 15% off for the shout out? But yeah, so my fucking wheel fell off on the highway. Well, actually, my tire blew out on the highway. Uh -huh. But I still made it work this morning about 11 o'clock. Okay. Bitch start sliding this shit. I oh, said, what the fuck is going on? Right. Bitch, the tire pressure buttons came on. And, you know, Lexus is all uh, electrical and shit. Right. I said, hold the fuck up. Pull over. Only check the front two tires because I didn't know that the pressure of the tire stops on the back, not from the front. Right. So the first uh, tire went from 40 to zero, Damn. like in a snap of a finger. So I'm like, let me check my front tires. Check the front two tires, everything good. Then I drove again. I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, something wrong. Pulled over, it was the back tire. Oh. Yeah, the back tire blew out. So like I said, I called roadside assistance, but I still made it to work. They told me they was going to be there at 1245. They didn't get there until... 245. Uh, I went to, no, so, no, they called me at 145 saying we in route. I said, y'all supposed to have been there almost an hour ago. Yeah, they right. got, I, it definitely thank God I went fair. to work 
you know, and then just didn't sit there. And when I went to work, I was not down. You know, right. it just shows that things do happen. You got to just keep on pressing. Yeah, I ain't mm-hmm. going to lie. I drank that motherfucking Red Bull that I had in that car uh-huh. to calm me the fuck down and yes. give me some wings. And yes. I flew by as away. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me fix my shit. Yes, it's me again, Lordy P. That run DMG. That run DMG. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> shit. Let me fix this. This shit is slide, bitch, okay? Like that tie last night. All right, so let me get yes. to the tip. Yeah, because the tie did fly. Okay, so you know, on the last show, we was talking about our girl Moni. Mm-hmm. Then we're talking about her again on this show, okay? Everybody's talking about Monique and what Monique have done. You know what I'm saying? When she went on the stage and she blasts all they ass. Mm-hmm. Lee Daniels, Oprah Winfrey, and Tyler Perry. So apparently the girl Adrian on The Real, you know her, the one that used to be in 3LW? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, she was on The Real and she made a comment about Monique. Uh-oh. Then if you don't know Monique, you don't need to talk about Monique, Monique okay? You don't, bitch. Because Monique, she's from Baltimore and the bitch claps back. Quick, okay. quick, she bitch, looks quick. At everything. Bro. Okay, she say what the fuck she feel. Quick. So Adrian made a comment and said she just think Monique should have did it a little classy. She said, "Why do people think being loud and being ghetto is always keeping it real?" Hmm. Oh, bitch, bitch. <laughs> you not say that about Monique, bitch. Wow. <laughs> she said, "But no, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think that people claim to keep it real is always loud and ghetto?" No. no, I don't think that neither. I don't, nah. cause I know some calm bitches that yeah. keeps it real, and some calm yes. dudes. Some yeah. bitches that they they keep, keep it real. real. Yeah, that cut that eye, bitch. but they keep it real. <laughs> so anyway, Monique took to Twitter. Yes, but she don't have that little bitch number. So <laughs> Monique took to Twitter. Okay, so Monique went to Twitter, and I got the tweet. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he laced his hat. <laughs> So look, I got the tweets, bitch. So Monique yeah. tweet her, and she at that bitch. Yes, okay. no, 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 she that's a real bitch. She didn't switch. She didn't stop tweet. She at that bitch. You don't do some yeah. okay. She said, "Hey, my loves." She said, "Um, this baby gets a pass." Talking about Adrian. Yeah. She said, "This baby gets a pass. She is too young to even understand." However, Adrian at Adrian, if you would like to discuss, we're open. Talking about her and her husband. Mm-hmm. They're open to discuss. Then she kept on. What? She at that bitch again. She said, we await your reply, sister. <laughs> she said, this is Monique. I hope I'm not being too loud for you. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> was it all caps? Yeah, no, it wasn't all caps. She's calm. Yeah, oh, she's wow. calm. Yeah. She put yeah. laugh out loud after that. Then she replied again. Yeah. Monique, okay. She said, and Adrian, she said, by the way, I am fighting for the young sisters like you who never won an Academy Award. Wow. What? (laughs) (laughs) Then she had that bitch again. And I got the tweets. So look, she said, if you really want to tell and she said, if you really want to tell us something, my husband and I would be more than happy to come on the show so you can tell us directly. Thank you. Oh, shit. And that bitch left it right there. And I'm still looking at her text like she got something else to say. She should have just like, left a knuckle yeah. emoji. So I said, fuck. Okay, well, that's what's going on with Monique. You know, she just feel like if y'all don't know what it is, mind y'all motherfucking business. Thank and if y'all want to know what it is, holler at me. You got a show. I don't mind being a guest. Thank you. That's how she feels. She going to be on the radio. But that's here crazy, that. though, because she should be invited to some people's why not? shows. Yeah, why she not? not, though. The why reason not? why she not being invited to some people's shows is because the people she talking about. Yeah, Oprah I agree. Winfrey. I agree. Yeah. If it was Wendy Williams or somebody, yeah. they'd be like, come on the show, girl. Yeah. Come on the show. Hey. But due to it's Oprah, mm-hmm. everybody is afraid mm-hmm. of the power of her authority. Yeah, that's true. That's what it is. She really is. That's what it is. Yeah. They scared. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I noticed everybody wasn't really trying to say how they feel. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of fucked up because some of those people are Monique friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. they kind of like throwing her under the bus yeah. a little bit just right. because it's Oprah and Tyler Perry. And right now, they are the ones that's in charge of black entertainment and can, put people, right on the, right. and can put, right. put people on the movie screen. Right. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So they ain't trying to fuck up their paychecks. Right. 
That's what it is. But petty is petty, though, regardless. I don't give a fuck who you is. Right. That's, why that's see, right. Wrong that's why I see you. Like, I don't give a fuck if it's my sister, my brother, my cousin, anybody. If you're wrong, I'm going to say you wrong. And that's why I see you on their heels like that. Yeah, that's what it is. But anyway, let's move on, okay? Let's talk about somebody else. Ellen. Y'all know Ellen. I like Ellen. I like Ellen. Okay, Ellen teams up with Netflix, and she's going to do her first stand-up comedy special in 15 years. Are y'all here for it? Who the fuck is waiting 15 years? No, oh. this is her first time doing it again since 15 oh, I'm years ago. We got 15 years to wait, bitch. <laughs> she, wait, I, she getting that money that uh, she seen Dave Chappelle make. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. Odell Buckman. Y'all know him? Beckham. 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 Whatever. Okay, okay. You don't know nothing about it. Okay, I know the cheerleaders. <laughs> Odell Beckman, Junior. He skips John's practice to hang out with Iggy. Wow. Iggy is him? Yes. yes. The booty make you not go to practice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but why are all these niggas hitting the same bitches? Is that the white one or the black one? That's, That's the, the one white one. Oh, Nick Young. So fancy. The yeah. one that T.I. signed. Yeah. Nick, Nick Young. And draw. Yeah. Uh, apparently. Yeah. Well, allegedly. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah. Thank you, Tony. No, she she still signed to uh, T.I. Oh, she is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's well, getting well, out. Would, you skip, would you skip work for a booty? Yeah. I That's have. wrong. You skip work for booty. I've skipped work for ass before, yeah. Would you skip work for booty? I have. I skipped you school. have? I skipped school for ass before. You skip school? Well, you know, that don't count. I'm talking about work the paycheck. Yeah, I have. You have? That's what you got to leave for. I got ass at work. You got ass at work? Okay. Right. You still work there? Nah. Okay, good, because we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you skip work for dick? No. <laughs> no, I won't. You're a damn lie. No, I won't. So you never miss the day. No. For some dick. Just for dick? Is the dick never. paying? Never. Is the dick paying? Answer the question. It is paying. We didn't go to the dick. So we you didn't ain't 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 ever wake up in the morning and be like, damn. How you did that night, Ron? Oh, yeah. Oh my oh, yeah. God! You ain't gonna have that scenario then, yeah? No, no, no. I, okay, I have to stay home with my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. motherfucker. Right. right, but I got paid. It doesn't oh, matter. Good morning. Yes. Yes. You know if I stay home, <laughs> now, I'll be late. I'll be late. Yeah, I'll, oh, I'll be late. But I'm not missing. missing. Unless I'm getting the check. Baby, 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 I got a show. You got to go. <laughs> okay. T.I. reveals his plans. And guess what his plans is? What? He's doing a joint album with Trey Songs. Are you here for it? No. No. Nah, his, 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 his wave gone. T.I.? T.I., yeah. His wave. You don't think Trey no, Songz's wave is gone? Yeah, I, I think Trey Songz. Trey nah. Songz's going to do his pop. Trey Songz's wave ain't gone. T.I. See, one thing about Trey Songs, he got the appeal to the women and uh -huh. still got it. So it's way See, I just give me legendary, like. Yeah, he give me legendary. Yeah, he hey, you don't think they could do a J or R. Kelly? Hell no. no. They can't even do it. Oh. Nah, hell no. You tried Fuck this no. shit out there. <laughs> You see what happened with that T Wayne, T Pain, and Lil Wayne? They just dropped it too late. Sometimes now I'm gonna tell gone. you because Fab and, and, and Trey Songz just did a, a mixtape together, and the joint was flat. T I I don't get that type. It ain't of, get that buzz. Fab no, was it was, hit them yeah, type but, of jumps, but, but they they connection though. Regardless of the sales and everything, right? That connection was there. Right. It made a good mixtape. Oh no, I think I'm here for it. I ain't gonna lie. I think T I I, I I'm, I'm the Google girlfriend said I'm not here for it. They not they, even, they, they plan to call it right the now. lady killers. They not messing with T.I. right now, man. His wave gone. I mean, no, T.I. wave not gone to me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So get this. A Virginia woman was on the road begging for change. <laughs> She's homeless. She was on the road uh, begging for change. Enough. She's enough. homeless. Mm -hmm. She was begging for change. She need money. She need money. So one dude decided to pull over and watch her. And she was begging for change. Then after she finished begging for change, she left from the corner, went to the McDonald's parking lot, and got in her car. <laughs> what kind was it? What kind was it? What kind was it? I don't know what kind of car it was. Oh. Okay, I don't know what kind I'm of sorry, car. Begging is is his job, but is. she got in her car, and the man pulled out his cab. <laughs> he said, "Ma'am." I thought you was homeless and you in need. So she said, get that fucking camera away from me. <laughs> he was following her. The lady went to the drive through at McDonald's and knocked on the window. Hey, they harassing me. Uh -huh. And then the man said, tell them what you're doing. <laughs> tell them what you're doing. This is freedom of speech. I can come here. I can come and follow you. Tell them what you're doing. You're taking people money and getting in your car, going to your house and going to work. Mm. Oh, man. She got exposed. And it's all on the internet. And she's still going to be doing it. 
Yeah. That's fucked up. Now, you know what that made me wonder about the man on Central Avenue. <laughs> Have y'all ever been on Central exactly Avenue? It's about. the man. He walk with a cane exactly and his leg about. be like this. I see him every day. Yeah. I got one in Baltimore. So I think I'm going to pull over, over one day and watch, watch him. The Pennsylvania Avenue dude yes. got Audi, though. The dude on Pennsylvania Avenue with the big boot. He got Should one. I got a McDonald's. A job. He, got, he, got, he got a big boot. He wear a rug. He got a big boot and one regular shoe. But he pushed that they shit They said it was, a 2000, it was a 2014. Oh, they seen this story. Damn. It was 2014, Bishop? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 2014 what? Let me get on this corner. Don't even matter what the fuck it was. Yeah, it could have been a true. 2014. Mm-hmm. Smart car. That yeah. bitch got a car. That's true. She was in <laughs> the parking true. lot. They know what I'm talking <laughs> about. My good girlfriends know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's move on. So, <clears throat> America Got Talent production company is sued by a mother claiming Tyra Banks traumatized her. Who? On set. Tyra Banks. You know, Tyra Banks is the new host. She took Nick Cannon's spot. Okay. Okay, on America's Got Time. Bitch, for real. Yeah. Her, she's, the new, she's the new host. I gotta, I gotta get in. So this woman was auditioning, okay, in America's Got Talent, okay? And she said that, not this woman, this child, okay? She said that her child was traumatized because of what Tyra Banks done said to her child. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know, it discouraged her. And she says now she's dis- she's stressed and she's discouraged and she don't want to do anything because of what Tyra said. What did Tyra, Tyra say? Tyra made fun of her performance. That was ridiculous. You should never do that to kids. That was ridiculous. They said Tyra said it was ridiculous. And she also said Tyra has physically manipulated her daughter. Physically? Yes. Pulled her daughter's head back. Like put this together like i don't know if it was a pull like this or was she placing the girl here and whatever but don't touch my daughter was that's, it what on she, camera? that's what the mother was giving don't touch my daughter was it on mm-hmm. camera i don't know if it was on camera because the show is not out yet uh, they're doing the pre-screening mm-hmm. and i'm sure they won't have it on camera now that this story done hit the airwaves Ooh, right. you know but she says her daughter is emotion is in emotionally distressed what does her daughter do her daughter was a singer. Singer, trying to sing on the yeah, show. One of the Tyra says she looked, this is what they saying in the lawsuit that they filed against Tyra and the company, America Got Talent. They said Tyra says she looks embarrassed and annoyed. <clears throat> she even shook the girl's shoulders and pulled the girl's head back and physically manipulated her. The girl is now traumatized and became deeply depressed. Mm. Motherfuckers crazy. Man. I mean, see, the, the thing is, Tyra was kid, giving Simon. Like, so it's a difference from a they, adult. Tyra, you know but you can't give Simon to a child. And then that child nah. probably yeah. looking at the TV like. And the mother person, also said that they Banks tried to force the shit. child to yeah. sign a contract for the show. She was underage. They forced the child to sign a contract for the show without the parent consent. Mm. So she also mm. put that in the lawsuit. Well, she might win that because you can't, you can't, yeah, you, yeah. you got to have a, a parent's consent. Mm-hmm. But, but when you're but, age. Yeah, when you're underage. Yeah. It's still a way to talk to kids, though, man. Yeah, that's a fuck Damn, that way. Tyra about to be fired. Tyra probably was on there acting like she was on America's Next, Next Top, Top Model. Models. You can't but, do uh, that with some kids. Some of them other little shows used to do you that, You can't too, do that with kids. Used to like, they used to, like, hurt mm. the kids' feelings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I talk my shit, but I know a certain way you got to talk to kids when you're judging kids. You got to let them down. You know what I'm saying? It has to happen. The thing is to build their self-esteem, not break it down. down. Yeah, look, it wasn't good this time, but you could come back next season and try again. That that was absolutely dreadful off the Simon shit. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of my good girls said, no, Tyra, you can't do that. Yeah, she can't. I agree. I agree. Sounds like two cats fighting an ass. One of my good girls (laughs) said, well, she should have put that emotion into her song. Well, it's kind of hard for a child if, to but do can't, that. You can't put that emotion in song if you just don't have the talent. You right, no, nah, but she might have the talent. She might have the talent, you but you her. Right. Like, you got to think about something. You know what I'm saying? When you look up to people, like when you see a person like Tyra Banks, Janet Jackson, Nicki Minaj, these people you idolize. Yeah. Right. These people you look up to. You know what I'm saying? You just think these are perfect people. You know what I'm saying? Looking into their world. Right. And then when they say something devastating to you, all that goes out the window. Yeah, and then let alone you, know you on the show, she probably was nervous and Yeah, whatever. she probably was nervous and shit do all them cameras. Yeah, you going on the TV and those show people. with Tyra Banks. Yeah. You know, so okay, nice. so get this. The Migos was scheduled to do a performance with Katy Perry on SNL. Okay, Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. But they refused not to do it. Mm. Because Katy Perry had drag queens on the stage. <laughs> wow. They said we're not doing that. <clears throat> you got them you got them dudes with wigs on there. We're not doing that. Ooh. Yeah, I mean. So but guess what though? They, they, they So everybody is calling the Migos homophobic. 
Okay, because they said this is their second time yeah, saying, say yeah, this is their second time. time saying something very homophobic. Third. What's the dude named the rapper? I love McConan. Yeah, I love McConan. Yes, he came out this year. Yeah. Okay, and they said something about that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't like it or whatever the case may be. And then this, this is what I know of. I don't know about the other time. They, their excuse was they didn't. Um, no, what was the other time that they came out against homosexuals? The, the first, I was talking about that, John. Yeah, that's yeah. the only time I know. Yeah, but then, then they true. say they're not homophobic because they did a song with Frank Ocean. They said, so how can that make them homophobic? Because they did a song with Frank Ocean. Because y'all could have been in one studio and he could have been in that I studio. I agree with their reason for okay. Alabama Conan, though. I agree with that reason, though. Wow. Because all their songs, he talking about fucking bitches and he got the bitches and this and that. And then the nigga come out and say he gay. Like, they got songs with this nigga. They it talking about... That just making listen to what I'm saying, though. It's an image, though. You, you get what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of rappers saying they killers. I understand that. Yeah, what they're saying is... In the studio amongst men, us as homies, nigga, you talking about you fucking with the bitches with us whole time. We in the studio, we might got our shirts off, getting in our groove, nigga. You might was watching us the whole time. That's how they, if you look at their interview, that's how they put it. Like the whole time he infiltrating us, like he like women, he might like us. But no, the whole time, I agree. <laughs> I mean, but because in this instance, we use, we use them words too freely. If I'm going to a show and it's about time for us to perform or we're about to practice and you got trannies on the stage. I got a problem with that because it's the element of surprise. At least tell me beforehand and give me the opportunity. And that's what they said with him. Just because I don't want that part of my show, I might not want them particular lights. Do that mean I don't like lights? I might not want blue lights or fireworks or mm -hmm. whatever. Because it's all type of shit to make a, a performance. Right. They just don't want that shit. They don't mean, I mean, that's they don't want that shit part of their show. As simple as that. So for people to keep calling them homophobic and all of that, that don't and mean like they it's turn a chain down of a... reaction that keep happening pertaining to homosexuality. But, but they don't like... want it part of their show. That's it ain't fine. like they put... I understand that, but they are people. And I'm not taking up because I'm gay, but they are people. So I don't understand why their performance will help, I mean, will affect them. Because, because it's not part of their performance. Something that they normally no, but do. it's part of Katie's. And Katie did a collaboration with them. So, okay? So what if they had the... Uh, a, 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 a Black Panther scene on a uh, joint with saying Black Lives Matter in the corner just sitting there and then people left, got their fists and it made her feel uncomfortable and she said, nah, I don't really want to If it go with their set, I'm sure she probably would have. Yeah, but how training got to do with their set? Why she didn't tell them that she had trainees before the show? That's my point. Well, I don't know. I don't know if she And that's didn't. the whole thing I'm saying. Like, don't leave the element yeah, of surprise. Why you Let me just know. call them, hey, hey guys, uh, we need to meet. Hey, bring them in. Hey, I got these trainees over here. It's, it's, this is just business. It's a part of the show. But my thing is, is do why you do I have to call you to Yeah, why, why do I have to bring... call you to tell you what's a part? Sex? If I say I why have not? dancers, which I know she did, if I have dancers, regardless if they trannies or midgets. It makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. No, I just think it's, it's the image he care about. He think people going to think they saw because he up there. And then on top of that, yeah, it don't yeah, even matter yeah, because yeah. money don't have no sexuality. It doesn't. It's gays in the but, industry, period. But I'm I, sure I, I, he I, don't I, work with gay I, producers. Right, I'm has, sure he got yes. gay stylists. Look how they dress. But, but they saying this. just be money real ain't everything too. No, money. it looks to me that they want to do that. They want to deal with homosexuals in the dark but not in the light. No, nah, that's what it looks yeah, like. Y'all act like they turned down the gay festival or something. Like they got booked at Gay Pride and no, didn't they didn't up. turn down the gay festival, but they are discriminating and judging. Oh, let me ask you this. That's is, not right. Now that's a question. They I are really discrimination don't and judging. Is gay and 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 being a tranny the same thing? Yes. It's a lifestyle. Being a homosexual is a lifestyle. It's their lifestyle. Okay. I mean, because I'm just confused. I mean, because you gotta understand, like. Some a lot of straight Rod, is discrimination and judging. That's I doubt not it right. though. That's not right. So, so what is it called when they don't want animals on their fucking performance on the on the stage? Uh, part of they act. Well, I'm sure you have to get animal some type phobic. of no. I'm sure you have to get some type of um. I mean, like some type of insurance or something like that when it comes to animal. But my thing is, these are people dancing. Why you Fuck if they tranny, they are dancers. I don't have to say. Oh, if you was born a woman, I don't have to say, oh, he was born a woman, but now he a man and he's a producer. No, this is the producer, Ron. This is what he's doing. You don't accept people or you don't judge people by their sexuality. What the you accept to do they them for that because they're probably talented dancers. Okay, so why you didn't tell them that I had? Why to do I well, have to say? They all feel as though they had to tell. That's what I'm saying. Why do I, I have to? You do why know. do I have to say these are trainees? Why do I? Why can't I just say this these is the dancers? dancers. All right, these are my dancers. Then you do a song. I bring some females on the stage and got them popping and shit all on you. 
That's not what you went to. No, what but them are your dancers. But what if you they could be up there popping, and if they come my way, I'ma still be singing my song, and I'ma be moving away. Well, then, no, but that's but wrong with me. I am not going to. I am not going to be like I don't want to be a part that's of this. Wrong of me doing you got that. Dancers up there shaking their ass. But that's wrong of me for doing that. First of all, I'm gonna know what type. First of all, I'm gonna know what type of dancers, and I'm gonna know you as an artist. So I'm gonna know what you're gonna bring to this performance. So that's what they saying. When did the trannies come in? No, they didn't say nothing about. That's basically what they, they say? saying. They looking at it like, what did these? What, what did that have to do with our song? Oh, what, do saying, song what do trannies have to do with their song? I mean, it, it, it's a. It's I'm a just thin, asking it's from an artist's point of view. It's a thin line, man. Like that's so. Basically, thing. what they saying is the rumors are true. The Migos held up the rehearsal. They held up the rehearsal. This was up the re the rehearsal. They held up the rehearsal because they wasn't comfortable with the drag queens being there. That's what they saying. They held up the rehearsal. I think oh. it's a, to me personally, and I might be ignorant just being a straight man looking at it like I think it is a difference between a tranny and a gay dude. I mean, but even still, but even still, Katy Perry's team removed some of the queens from the performance after they threw a fit, and I just think that's wrong. I just think that's mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. Even though she she removed the people just to you know what I'm saying for them to make their way to make them feel comfortable, I just think that that's wrong because Katy Perry, Britney Spears, girls like that, they are free people. They love yeah. everybody. Like Gaga, you know Gaga and them gonna have men, dancers, dancers queens. Whatever. You don't. They that's how they are. But you know that's known with them. But but what do they have to do with Katy Perry? Because they are dancers. You're not getting what I'm saying. I don't have to announce that they are trannies. If they are I don't think Lady Gaga just dance. I don't yeah. think Lady Gaga just bring trannies on the stage with anybody. I trust me, I think she business wise handled it the right way. It's a way to handle I think, business. I don't bro. think Lady Gaga will do a song with the Migos. Now. Yeah, but listen, that's like if we do a <laughs> yeah, song, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like if we do a song and I take you in a trap. For the video shoot, I take you in the hood, and that's not where you wanted to if go. I, I suppose up, it's this what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. If I team up with any artist, I'm gonna know what type of artist I'm teaming up with. I know you're a trap singer. I know you like smoking weed. I know you like drinking lead. I know you like fat ass video, <laughs> fat bitches in your videos. I know that. So you're not gonna sit here and tell me that they are not aware of the culture of Katy Perry. What you know when you though? get in, you know when you're getting into. Let me ask you this. So you go on Ellen's show. You being Lonnie B, you go on Ellen's show. She don't tell you Donald Trump did. Now people looking at you like, oh, he teaming up with Donald Trump. Ellen should have told you Donald Trump was dead. Okay. Yeah, so she fucking up your brand. That's different. We talking same about thing with Monique and Oprah. We're talking about a performance. Same We're thing with Monique and Oprah. We're talking about a performance. That's different. That's different. It's because I feel like I'm walking into a booby trap. That's what they felt same like. Same thing with no, Monique no, and Oprah, though. That's not what they feel like. They're judging and they're discriminating. What if they were thinking that's about their doing. brand? Because if those were real women, they wouldn't care. No, but understand this. If they were real oh, women, oh, they wouldn't care. What if they thinking so about their brand? they're judging... And they are discriminating. What if they thinking about their brand? Like Matt, if it was real women, it ain't, like they, it ain't like they touching them. Or yes, like, right. the difference if a trainee. No, no, listen though. But no, no, no. Because you saw I've been quiet the whole time. Because I was trying to get in. Because I agree <laughs> with both sides. No, for real. Because I understand. I kind of understood where the Migos was coming from. Like you said, they probably worried about their image. But if trainees are performing, whatever they doing, it one, two, hit, dip, whatever in behind them while they're rapping their music. Long as it's not interacting with them, so they're not saying, oh, the Migos was rubbing the butt of a transsexual. That wasn't a woman. You get what I'm saying? Versus, like you said, if it was a real girl, it would be totally different. But if if uh, if we are Migos fans and we into what they doing, right. and I see them on stage with the training, not me personally, but I'm going to be like the average dude going to be like, I ain't fucking with them motherfuckers no more. And then they lost everything you because take, of that. You take your dude to that, what's that, John Nelly's with the with the trannies that be dancing and shit? Yeah, that's sick. You going to take him to that shit and don't tell him that it's about to be trannies dancing around his breakfast food? Yes or no? That's different. No, the fuck is not. That is so no, different. the fuck is not. No, it's not. Are you, you say serious? boo. You say boo, let's go to boo. Okay, fuck all that. No, listen. So you telling me they're at the fucking VMAs with K Katy Perry and they doing their motherfucking song and motherfucking... Some transsexual come from the fucking ceiling. You ain't gonna walk off the fucking stage. Yeah. She, yes, they will. That's what they just did. Okay. Yes, are you they sure just did it. They, gonna walk off they stage. just did it. They didn't go on the stage. No, okay, they, they, I understand. They, they, we all gonna have to agree to disagree because we gotta move on. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta agree to disagree. But I will say this: money don't have no sexuality. 
Yeah, how money, 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 money don't have no all money spends. Like, yes, and the one thing that you don't want to get you is the homosexual community. I want to. Good, good, good luck, amigo. Good, good luck with your us, career. I, good luck. I hundred percent. Good luck. Support us. Don't force homosexuality on me, though. Yeah. Good luck. They no, have I'm not forcing. How's you forcing your homosexual? Okay. You do this show. Y'all do this show with a gay ass openly man. That ain't got shit to do. Yes, with it is. Yes, yes it's a gay man. They do this show they with a gay ass. ass no, man. That's what though, bro. Yeah, you didn't it. bring us that's on this show and then turn gay in the middle of the fucking show. Go, we thought right. was but a man. At the end of the day, but at the end of the day, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. no, no, no. What was that bitch name? I'm sorry. What was the hard the bad name? Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Let's talk about it. Okay, yes, yes. No. Right. Nothing about. Y'all don't get up and get the fuck up and walk up when we had these transsexuals on this show. No, no, but the moment he walked in the door, I knew what the fuck it was that the apple didn't look like an orange. Okay, but at the end of the day, you didn't walk away. I wasn't uncomfortable. So my point is, all you didn't judge and you didn't discriminate. So that's what they did. Stepping in his head. See, that's the thing about it. Okay, and that's respect. And that's what I'm saying the Migos should do. If you feel the way, no, they didn't. They say, get them motherfucking nasty motherfuckers <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> they said, we refuse to perform. Is that they said, we respect? respect. <laughs> no, we refuse to perform with them faggots. That's what they nah, said. No, they ain't so Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what? Oh, <laughs> they probably say in their head, get them nasty motherfuckers <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> like, you uh-huh. this, this, okay? Just know this. This gay man is the boss. Okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you won't be okay <laughs> fuck all right let's move on oh so Nicki minaj responded to the rumors of her dating Nas. Mm-hmm. Nas, that dude Nicki responded to the rumors of her dating Nas. Mm-hmm. is it true i thought it was one she so said no, no, no. on the ellen show yes on the ellen show they have sleepovers together damn what the fuck kind of yeah, Barbie shit is that? About. What she does that mean? They, 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 they fuck in the tent. They fuck in the tent in the living way room. To say, yeah, we're fucking. Okay. They yes. fuck in the tent in the living room. All right, so let's move on to this one. So Snoop Dogg is yeah. working on another album. Okay, 420. Nope. <laughs> A gospel album, oh, bitch. Nah, no, get out of here. I'm yeah, here don't for. judge. Y'all judge. Okay. Y'all judge it. Y'all oh, judge it. Nah, <laughs> bro, you can't be... Nah, you bro. don't want to make a gospel album. I'm here for it. I'm not here for it, bro. Yes, okay. He said, for, he, bro. he said it's always been on his heart. Why are you not here for it? Because he smoked weed? No, I'm not. It's because not even about that. No, it's not even. You rappers to, know the Lord. I yeah, didn't that's say that because I go to church and I and I do. So I do what is it? But why can't that. Snoop make a gospel album? Because it's right now his his whole image right now. He gonna have to change everything straight that way. Like you can't. I can't see him right here. Nah, man, I can't see him right here. Like on his How his image? smoking the blunt, drinking the food. You can't. Ex- why can't he expose to his audience that he know God and he love God and they should know him and love him? Why can't That's, he do that? You can do that. Nothing right. wrong with that, bro. Bro, what don't you think just about do it, it to do it. Take I, it serious I, I, if I you're gonna do it, bro. I'm not here. You ain't feeling it? Why? Because he, because he a gangster no, rapper. No, not not just because of that. It's just I just feel as though he trying to reach out to another audience. No, some people That's trying all. to do everything just to keep their name. Because he did country music too. Yeah, I mean, and I respected it because I listen to all type of music. But I didn't think that was good for Snoop either. I mean, country, come on. He man. just trash it and trash it. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Well, he said he's looking forward to do a gospel album and he's looking to do collaborations with Faith Evans, okay, Charlie Wilson and Jeffrey. I never talk right. bad about Charlie Wilson. Never. <laughs> Enough for you to tell me wrong about yes. Charlie Wilson. Oh my God. So he said he go, but he should call our girl from DC and Yanni Crawley. Okay. If you want to do something, he should call Yanni. Thank for you. real. Yes, All right. Snoop. So give us your tea. Give us your tea, Tony T. All right. Let's get it. 16 year old commits suicide hours after police try to scam straight at school. The family of a 16 year old who killed himself hours after police officers confronted him about an alleged sexual recording on his phone. Is planning to file a lawsuit against both the school district and the police department. I think they wanted to just scare him straight, Maureen Walgreen told the authorities. Instead, they scared him to death. Her son, Corey, in January committed suicide by falling from the top of a five-story parking garage. Shortly after, officers showed up at his high school to question him about an illicit material that they had believed was stored on his cell phone. They were investigating claims that he possessed and played a recording of consensual encounter with the fellow 16-year-old student for his friends. Mm. 
That's, That's crazy. Sad. Then it's saying, um, Corey had never been in trouble at school or with the authorities a day in his life. He didn't have a criminal record. He was called down to the dean's office January 11th. Police were waiting for him. They questioned him about having and sharing child pornography. What are you laughing the fuck about, Ron? I was thinking about what I said. <laughs> My bad. What's so funny, Ron? Nah, I was thinking about what I said. What you said? Nah, go ahead. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> See, that's okay. He's on his way out of here, man. He's on his way. And said the police, uh, basically, they had intentions on downloading the video from his phone. So when they reached out to the parent for her approval, she um, basically told him she would be at the school in 50 minutes. When she arrived at the school, her son was already gone. Oh, and, uh, why? I, I don't know. So the boy killed himself at school? Yeah, he went and jumped out the popping garage. Dang. All because of all these questions. They was they was trying to get his phone so they could download the video for themselves so they so the police could have they custody they of the can't video. Hear you, Tony. Huh? They saying they can't hear you. I'm talking in the mic. No, but you know the mic don't. Oh, all right. Kidding. Yeah. Well, they said I'm talking in the mic because they told me last time when I talked to the camera to talk to the mic. Okay. But yeah, so they basically said um they wanted the video out of his phone. The mother said I'd be at the school in 50 minutes. Right, right, right. By the time she got there, they must have let him step off, and he went and jumped off the school car parking garage. Mm. Wow, that's crazy! I send my prayers to his family. Yes, definitely. Ron, give us your tea for the day. Neo Nazi converts to Islam, kills white supremacist roommate for not respecting his new religion. That's crazy. Devon authors of Florida killed the fellow neo Nazi roommates as he converted to Islam. His roommates were Jeremy. Himmelman, 22, and Andrew Uchtrup, 18, who were discovered in their rooms with uh, upper body bullet wounds to the chest. Damn, he shot their ass. He shot them. He converted to Islam. And, and he was Caucasian. He, he was neo-Nazi. He was a racist. So they started questioning him about what he was doing and everything. So he was already racist. Yeah, and, and then converted. he converted to being the, to the nation of Islam. No, not nation of Islam. Islam, a real Muslim. Uh, oh, Islam. Uh, Sunnis, basically. Okay. Yeah, basically. Who doesn't, which doesn't mean he wasn't racist no more because a lot of Islam uh, Muslims are racist. Yeah, themselves. Sunnis, they don't have no rules for real. Yeah, they, a lot of, they have a lot of white Muslims, people don't know, and they're very racist. Like, when you go over there to Mecca and all of that, a lot of them people don't like black. They don't even tell you that type of shit. But yeah, that, people just be hopping in shit, man. Don't even know what they hopping into, man. You got to read up on so shit. So they questioned him and he killed them. Not just that they was questioning him, but they was really upset about it. They probably was clowning them. And they was clowning. They was doing all of that. And he got upset and killed them. Straight wow. like that. Killed his roommates. Yeah, Dang. Killed their ass. That's sad. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay, give us your tea for the day, Miami. Well, mine's not deaf. <laughs> okay. Shit. Tired of hearing deaf stuff. Yes, I am too. So, I, 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 first of all, these bitches must be just fucking hungry. Okay, because now my teeth sit down. Last time a bitch was selling pussy for nuggets. Now this bitch that makes the bitches at Wendy's for her motherfucking fries. Mm. For real? Yes. Damn. This bitch was arrested for basing Wendy's employees over stale fries. Mm. Her fries were stale. She got mad and pulled out her mace. Yes. Man, that shit should be a felony for them giving you them stale ass shit. Yes, they said Thursday <laughs> afternoon receiving a call about a disturbance. And this was in um, Minneapolis reports that when police arrived, employee told them that 25-year-old Dixon came through the drive through ordered food and eggs that her french fries be fresh. Mm, mm, okay? Still you can do that. You can do that. That bitch said, I need my french fries fresh. You can do that. And you supposed to. Yeah. As she did. So, Dawn, um, so they, she pulled up to the window. They gave her fries. They began, they started, an argument had happened and an employee threw a soda at her. Oh, yeah. So now they cut, they slightly tried, they yeah, because right the bitch threw a soda at her, and then she. So missed. they said Dixon then grabbed her mace out of her car and sprayed it through the drive-through window. Oh well, hold that. Cause she threw the soda at her. Yes, yeah, yeah. damn right. I'm gonna grab my mace and spray my mace. And she fucked the whole store up. Yeah. But she's facing nice. charges. Yeah. Uh, so is the employee. Use of tear gas. Oh, and cool. One of the good, good girlfriends said, Ron, why are you looking at Miami like you want to lick her? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, T. Yes. Okay. Mm. So here we go. We have some response. Yes. From mm. YouTube. Okay. Now, you know, I can always see my good, good girlfriends here on live, but YouTube sometimes responds and I want to get their response too. So I have it today. Thank you. Okay. This is 
to Tony T. Yes, from DJ Wormley. Okay, now if I fuck up your name, I'm sorry. Because y'all try to be creative and shit, say the A is silent, the E is silent. Look, I don't know. Okay? He said, hey, Tony, I hope you enjoyed your birthday, Tony T. Ron is outrageous. Laugh my ass off. Miami looks good without no makeup. She is so pretty and crazy. I love her. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, I like him. That's from DJ. At DJ. Okay. This is to Tony T from Alexandria Bryant. She said, well, damn, is Tony always high or something? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to respond, Tony. <laughs> is you always high? <laughs> How you doing, Alexandria? <laughs> Yes, I am always high. <laughs> okay. Always. Yes. I only smoke weed. I don't do no other drugs, and I drink sometimes, so that's cool. Okay, you only smoke weed. You don't do no other drugs, and you drink sometimes, for those of you that didn't hear him. Okay? To Ron. Here we go. Hey, Ron. Oh, this is Ron. I can cook. She said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. She said, I can cook. But I am having problems finding a good, responsible man. If a man is responsible enough, women will be happy to cook for him. Even he asks her not to. Even if he asks her not to. Because she wants to make him happy. Wrong! Are you a responsible man? Maybe right. that's why women don't like to cook for you. you. <laughs> now, I mean, in a situation with that, that's messed up that you got a good woman right there and she can't find a good man. I mean, sometimes you just it just be the luck of the draw. You, just can't find a good man and you be a good woman and vice versa too. I mean, it's just fucked up like that sometimes. But be happy with yourself and you always be happy. That's oh, I know that's right. Okay, fact. yeah. Okay, yeah. look at him spitting knowledge, but none for himself. He's always <laughs> spitting knowledge, but none for himself. <laughs> too Lonnie. This is from Santana Santana. Okay. Good morning, bitch. Good morning. Yes, I love you. It's like I have known you for years. You give me life. Other than God, child, okay? You remind me of my late cousin, Cody. He was Southeast finest, too, honey, just like you. Oh, I'm Southeast finest, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so look, I pray one day I come across you on the South Side. I love you. Keep up the good work. Keep repping D.C. Oh, thank you! All right. To Miami, yes. Miami, have you tried the food at Tootsie's? It's very good. I go there after work. A very classy, sophisticated gentleman's strip club. Mm. Have you ever been there? Yeah, I just was in Tootsie's. I told you when I saw um Tiny. Tiny. Oh, Atlanta. that was in Tootsie. Yeah, I was at Tootsie's. They in got my, some good food in, in all them strip joints in Atlanta. Oh, in Miami. No, Tootsie's in Miami. Oh, okay. Yeah, strip the food, you first. right. The food was Thank great. you, Miami. Yeah, he always think he's been every motherfucking way. Tootsie's in my head. Yes. Okay. Yes. I love catching me up. It's a gold. Okay, here we go now. Today is the day for the interview. Okay? So this interview, we have questions. We have two questions for per, per person in here. So we're going to start off with Miami. Miami, explain your relationship with each member of the Tea Party. Oh, my relationship. So, me and Ron used to date years ago. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> oh, make it hot, bitch! Me and Ron are good, good friends. Uh -huh. uh, we know each other for a minute. Ron kind of watched me grow up a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's, that's my bro. We go out, we hang out. Um, Yeah. Uh, Tony T, I know Tony T for years. We went to school together, actually. Facts. Yeah, okay. we went to school together. So Tony T watched me develop, you know, to the person I am today. Facts. And Larnell, oh my God. Now he know me since the sad box. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking. He, he started off as my model instructor. Then he was my dance instructor. Yes! Yes, thank you. <laughs> Kitty Kids Project. Move on. Back dancer. Oh, baby, thank you. So I'm good friends with everyone here at the tea party, and I have a good relationship with everyone at the tea party. Right. Ron, okay? You. Oh, this is a question for Ron. Hey, Ron, how come you're the only original tea party member still standing after the first class? Has? That's a good question. I mean, <laughs> I mean, everybody, everybody got their own, uh, I mean, avenues, I should say, in life. And some people misfortunate circumstances don't have them on the show some people's choice not to be on the show i mean you know it's 
it's unfortunate sometimes, but sometimes it's it's for betterment for that particular person. I don't know. And uh, so what love, keeps you here? I love the show, man. I, I I love being here. I really do. Genuinely love being on the show, man. It's kind of like my uh, what you call therapy it? Session. Therapy. Yeah, it's kind of like therapy for me because I could be having bad days or a bad week, and then Lisa Price says because he stuck to that chair. <laughs> <laughs> because, man, I like this new team better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lordy B, yes, he is. Which tea party member is the most difficult to work with? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no no none of them are difficult all of this is fun you know what i'm saying everything is fun we all have fun and then we have good chemistry because we know each other so that's what it is like we didn't just meet nobody it's no interview we grab people that we know and have a good chemistry with so everybody is fun so no one is really difficult we play all the time all right yes okay here we go tony t yes tony t tell us something Tell us something in life you regret. Uh, not going to college for uh, my marching band scholarship. Oh, you had a scholarship in your marching band? Yeah. And you didn't go? Yeah. What, what made you not go? Because I, I actually went to college and it was just too easy to do other shit that I actually was into, like the streets. Right. So I was like, this basically not going to be a good look for me. Right, was, like too many connects was there, and they was accessible to me. You know what I'm saying? So, right, like I did like six months. And that was like, right. Not good. Right. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, Miami. Yes, Miami. How do your mom and father feel about you being an exotic dancer? I don't give a shit. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, man, my uh -huh. dad never talked about it. Uh huh. It never came out of my mouth to my father that I'm an exotic dancer, but he know through the family. Right. Um. So I'm gonna say that my mom actually came to my job, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's low. <laughs> oh, oh, bitch is in a tracking device in that car. <laughs> oh. You didn't know she was coming up there. Hell no. How did you react? That's crazy. Bitch, I said. I'm modeling. <laughs> I said, this doesn't look like a model event to me. <laughs> I was nervous as shit. Oh, I to the back. I told her the artist got true. I am grown. I had to go back on that floor. <laughs> Mom, I have to go back on that floor. <laughs> Miami to the stage oh three. Oh, my God. So, of course, she just said, Jesse, be safe. You know, pray with me, blah, blah, blah. And um, she, but she she knows me. You know what I'm saying? She knows her daughter. So, she know I'm not out here just, you know what I mean? Like, the, I guess the, I guess what they, the. Uh, the thottish strippers. Not even thottish strippers, but the stereotype strippers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every, stereotype, every stripper is supposed to be having sex and. Drugs and all this facts, stuff like that. Facts. So she knows that's not the uh, situ she know that's not the situation with me. Right. So um, and she accept that coin. Right. So she accepts. Well, once she so accepted it, yeah, yeah, ain't she nothing accept that say. coin. Right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. My mom has made her her laws gestures and slurs. Oh, that dirty money every now and then, or what's in no? She questioned me like, you know, what's next and stuff like that. So, but she's acceptable of it. You know what right. I mean? She that's good. It. Okay. Raw, your question is, what's the longest relationship you've been in and how did it end? <laughs> it's uh, My longest relationship was uh, three years. Three All years. my relationships was three years. Oh, wow. Well, three is your worst number. Yeah. Or best. And they all end. Looking, yeah, three years uh, ended. Uh, I ended it. But uh, like I said uh, on a few shows, like I'm still cool with all my exes. So it ain't none of them ended bad. I just knew. It wasn't going to be on future in it, so I just ended it. Damn, yeah. it take you three years to know that. No, it just that's just a a number that just it is what it is. But, right. Yeah. Wow. Like I can tell in the, a day, or it might take. So how do your relationships end if they don't end bad? Because it's an understanding. Like I, this I, ain't working. We gotta go. Yeah, and, and it's genuine love there, so mm -hmm. it ain't never gonna be no situation where oh, it's she a bad. Ain't love you. 
Oh, no, nah, it's, it's still love. If she loves me, she's supposed to fuck him up or something? Nah, I mean. What you mean this is the end? <laughs> She don't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> That's your problem. This is you know, you got events. <laughs> when it's, I, it's only over to I say something. <laughs> oh, shit, Ron. <laughs> nah, man, you got events that lead up to, you know. The... Somebody said they didn't cook for him. That's why it ended. <laughs> <laughs> Did she cook for oh, you, that, that, that damn sure would have been an ending. Uh, oh, okay. That damn uh, sure. It wouldn't last three years. Oh, my God. Okay. Lonnie B, which tea party do you enjoy working with the best? Oh, that's a good question. I enjoy working with both. They both serve the purpose of what it is that they do because they both are different. Even with Ron being with this tea party, it's still a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because our personalities and perspective on things are different. You know what I'm saying? He just fall into place. Ron is not that bad. He's not an idiot like everybody think he is. You know what I'm saying? He's not a nincompoop. No, he's an asshole. Oh, he's, he's an, an asshole. But yeah. He's a donkey. He's a donkey. Hey, I'm here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he gels well and everybody gels well. The energy he is great and it's positive. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even not to see the people might think, oh, we get hype, we get angry at each other. But it don't be like that. Nope. It just be constructive and positive conversation. Mm-hmm. Yep. We get hype. We from the hood. Thank hood you. people talk loud. We get excited. We yeah. jump the fuck up and down. Thank Thank you. you know, then when the cameras on, we was like, this shit was funny as shit. <laughs> no question. No question. <laughs> yes, but I enjoy working with everybody, you know? Okay, so here we go. Tony T. Yes. Do you make a profit off of your clothing line? Nope. The you know, reason why I don't make a profit is because basically it take money to make money. Right. So a lot of the times that you put your money, I'm speaking up now, but yeah, it takes profit. It takes your your own money to make money. So a lot of people out here put their money into it and their whole focus is to double what they put into it. I don't really care. I want you to rock my shit. You know what I'm saying? So other people will see it and then somebody else will come back. So eventually in time, I will start making a profit. Right. Right. Slowly but surely. Right. So I give away clothes. Um, people come as they birthday that I be around that I know. I give them a shirt to put on. Somebody got a performance somewhere. They call me and say they need a shirt made. As long as you rep my brand, I don't really care. It's not really about making money. It's about getting getting my brand known and expanded outside of DC, and then I can worry about making money. But is it copywritten? Hell yeah. So go ahead and steal my shit. I'm going to sue your ass. Like, I'm going to sue <laughs> How long your you had ass. your, your clothing company? Um, Buffini Life been copywritten for like seven years, eight years. But I've been making clothes since like seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I was in entrepreneurship class, so they had us all on, on, on copywriting your logos and I was already on your business plan. So when it came upon, Polo invested into it. He got a store. You know what I'm saying? Let me run the store, design the clothes, got another store. So that was my investment and everything. So when he died, I kind of like straight away. It was like, I ain't want to do nothing no more, rap or anything. Then people around me just pushed me back to it. So I'm back doing if it. If people again. wanted to buy it, how can they get it? It's on Instagram. Buffini Life Apparel on Instagram. Or you could just go on Instagram and search B-O-O-F-I-N-I. And then both of my pages are going to pop up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you could Google it. Uh, you order from the page straight like that. And then right. um, we got the website coming. Yeah. And we pull up and drop it off. So if you need a fit for the club, yeah, we bring that motherfucker to you. Yeah, y'all pull up. Y'all got bands and shit delivering. Okay. Take a picture of your shoes, send it to us. We're going to get you a fit. Yeah, I hope y'all ain't pulling up at people's houses and UUVs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pop up shop bands. Yes. Okay, oh, well, that's our time here on the tea party. Yes. So I thought we'd be cool to give y'all a little insight on us and, you know what I'm saying, tell you a little bit about ourselves today. Thank y'all so much for joining us. We appreciate y'all. If nobody told y'all they didn't love you today, we love you here at the tea party. And remember to let no bitch, not one bitch, upset you. Yes. <laughs> See y'all soon.